Hello and welcome to Autoinform Tool Supplement. My name is Frank Massey and these short clips are intended to introduce some of the simplistic but valuable tools that we rely on to diagnose and repair vehicle systems. Measuring fuel pressure has been one of the very core requirements for many, many years. It's perhaps more critical now because we now have some very, very high pressure systems, particularly with direct petrol systems, which run, say, from 50 bar to 150 bar, where there is a, a relationship between low pressure priming and high pressure generation. So it's important that we can measure um, low pressure systems to ensure that before we start looking for problems with potential high pressure generation from things like the pump assembly, that we know the actual priming system works correctly. One of the challenges is to produce a gauge which is durable, accurate, and um, where the fuel doesn't actually damage the gauge under higher pressures than we've achieved in the past. In the past, two bar, three bar systems were quite common. Now we're looking at up to 10 bar priming systems, and they're a demand regulated pump, so the, the pressure can vary enormously. This particular gauge we've had built is a gauge from 0 to 10 bar, which is sufficient for priming systems. It has the use of self-sealing couplings, which allows then a great deal of flexibility in the type of connectivity that we can apply. For example, if we wanted to attach this gauge to a high-pressure direct petrol injection system pump, once again, having sourced the correct fitting, that can be applied to the pump, connected to the adapter, and the adapter to the gauge. So professional, hands-free connection, perfectly safe, and in real time now we can monitor the pressure in the system, which is also being monitored by a pressure sensor via the serial tool. So we can compare the value of both. And there's some very interesting characteristics in priming systems now on these demand regulated systems. We may wish to monitor this actually on the road and to achieve that we can extend the hose um, from the engine system uh, through a window uh, adjusting the bonnet to allow the, the, uh, the hose to pass through the bonnet safely so the bonnet can close. We can then ensure that um, no debris or contamination is introduced into the fuel system and of course importantly that there's no leaks while the vehicle is under test on the road with the extension hose and the gauges fitted. Should there, are, should there be um, a consideration for a special fitting, by that I mean where the manufacturers use what are now quite unique fittings, um, then we suggest that the purchase of the, the hose from the manufacturer and then adapting that to our quick release fittings allows a very flexible system of attachment to unique vehicle systems. And once again, this is a, a, a gauge we use an awful lot when evaluating problems with pressure generation or pressure control in both diesel and petrol systems.